Hello, my name is Russell Scott from scottcarvings.com and uh, I'm going to uh, carve a snowman today, much like this. In fact, uh, the one that I'm going to carve is just slightly longer, actually. It's about as wide, but it'll be a little longer. Um, the broom is separate. The nose is separate. Kind of has this sort of a cool uh, attitude, I guess, about them. It's got a nice jacket on, kind of dapper. And uh, like I said, this is I'm going to be using a larger block of wood. Let me show you the pattern here. Here are the patterns. Like this. Like I said, it's going to be as, as wide, but it is going to be a little taller than the one you've just seen. So you can put two at the same time, like that. And the particular block of wood that I am working on, this is my block here, is a uh, it's a square it's square. This is about two and almost two and one quarter. So I'm going to say two point two square by. Now this one is going to be just a little more than five inches, about five inches. And I like to kind of take pieces of wood and get the most out of them. Now I made this cut out. You'll notice at the bottom, according to the patterns here, is that, well I probably could have cut more out. But usually when it comes to things like the snowman, I would like to leave the bottom pretty well square because even though I might cut right here where the elbow goes, that's always a good place to know, but I might get goofed up and and I like to have more room to change things out a little bit here. Now this one here you'll notice he'll he'll have his um, scarf on his arm. And yeah, there he's going to have his arms bent. And that's what we want to work on first. So I don't know if you want to block it like this. Now I did, uh, I could have cut a little more off there. I guess I got a little too lazy and take the take the chisel to it I suppose. So what I want to do is I want to round this slightly, not too much, just to kind of get our bearings. Just a little bit. Because the arms are going to be rounded just a little bit here. This here, is the, this here, we don't want to cut too much around here because the harm is going to come out a little more. And I like to, to take the corners off as quick as I can. Some carvings I really can't. Because it's easier to handle when you uh, don't have to worry about the, worry about the corners. handle the corner soaps <sighs> just kind of getting it started here and so I want to put in <sighs> the arms this arm is going to come now he's just uh, he's just kind of got his hand on his coat there where you can see this arm is coming out a little more the arm that holds the, the broom comes out a little more so we'll just kind of get it kind of started a little bit like this like around here and we want to save a little bit of this wood here because the uh, scarf is going to come down see the shoulder is about shoulders a little higher than this spot here so there's where the shoulder is and we can always bring it down the shoulder and his arm this arm is going to be kind of forward I'm giving a lot of extra here. You can always trim it. And this side here. Now this one here, this arm. I wanted it to be a little higher. I missed missed that on that side. So I'm going to make this just a little higher so it'll look just to be different. Just so it doesn't look too. Now this one here, therefore the shoulder is going to be here. But the arm is the elbow is going to be cocked up a little bit where it isn't here. The elbow is still at the same spot. Now 
this elbow has to be about the same spot here, give or take. Okay, there's our start. Now, with the front, we want this to go away. Now we want just a little bit of here to go away. We'll just kind of do a, a, a large stop cut. And we're going to end up bringing the arms up probably a little bit because I want to have enough room for the, for the coat and then the, the bottom ball there. I'm trying to think here what would be best. I might have to end up re... Let's put the center line in there. Let's add just a little more on the top, just in case if I want to lift the arms a little bit. Just a little more. Okay, we can get to... Oh, and on this side here, um, is, he's going to have basically the same shape here in the back. So all of this is going to go away. Once we get it started, then we'll work on the head a little bit. I want to round out the body and the arm, and then I want to round out the head and the hat. And then after that we can start getting a little closer to detailing. So I want to put my, I don't want to use a V-tool, so therefore I want to put my just a glove on. I guess it's a little higher. We can always take wood away. It's hard to put it back. Go around here because that's where the um, scarf is going to go. That's why I like to work with cutouts more than I do with rough outs. Rough outs is kind of like what you got is what you got. Not much you can really play with or change or decide to do something different. But with block outs, you can cut outs, you can adjust a little more. You want it to go a little higher this way or lower that way. I'm in there so I don't go too far and kill my hand. <sighs> Better watch my patterns there. Okay. Oops, be careful. I almost forgot. Here, let's I'm gonna smooth this out for a second. And then I'm gonna take my pencil. This is my way of saying no, don't touch. Oops. Probably a little farther down. Keep. I don't get too too wacky with it. I do that a lot, just write the word keep so I don't get too wacky. And then while while we're at it, I might as well just kinda give it a quick stop cut. Try to bit off bite off to a little more than I could chew. There we go. Put this up and help me a little bit along the way. Kind of a nice little chip cut there. I'm just gonna have to get the, everything out of the, things out of the way here. out. Might need to have a chisel on some of this. Now we'll leave that alone. Same with this side here. I 
like this and we might need to get the chisel in on there in there I'm fortunate that this already is a fairly decent piece of wood you know why don't I do that right now to get my bearings I have my little flat number number five here and just just to clean it up a little bit so we know where we're at just to catch and keep our bearings here just okay for the bottom like I said we just want to we just want to lift the arms a little bit here for for now So it's almost like a sort of a square cone shape at the bottom here. So we're just kind of getting our bearings with where the arms are going to be because I think we're still going to be shrinking them down more, I believe. Okay. Yeah, this is a nice piece of wood. I'm very lucky to have this piece of wood. We're fortunate. Too close to the head there. Well, there's going to be a lot of a lot of cleaning up. I'll take a little bit of this corner out because it's going to be a ball there. That's, that's, so it doesn't poke me all the time. So I think we're getting we got where the arms are going to be, and as we get deeper and deeper into it. Same with this side here. Let's get this started. Make a good stop cut there. Bring the arm out. for this one too but okay <sighs> now we'll move on to the head I want to get the kind of get an idea of the coat here and what I want to do where's my I do in this particular case I don't know if I've used it in my other videos is my divider oops careful don't hurt yourself here and try to figure out where things go. So that's about where the coat is going to be, give or take. And I think we're going to again lift the arms a little bit. Where is the arm here? See how far off we are. Oh boy. It's a good thing we lift it, but we can still. I'm going to go right about here for now. And it really doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. Especially since I'm lifting this arm up a little bit, so it doesn't have to be perfect to the pattern. But I want to make sure that we can get that uh, the coat in there. And it's just not sort of like the arm, and then there's this kind of little bit of coat, and, and it's done. The arms can be thinned up a little bit. I'll just thin it a little right now. <laughs> 